Red, white, and blue was the safest bet for a sellout crowd. For a stretch during the 1970s, Evil Knievel was one of the biggest icons in sports, second only to maybe Muhammad Ali. The lunch boxes, the action figures, they proved it. Friday, Evil Knievel passed away at the age of 69. He enjoyed some of his biggest moments on ABC's Wide World of Sports. The former host, Jim McKay, takes a look back at Evil Knievel. My name is Evil Knievel. I'm a professional daredevil. Fearless or foolhardy, Robert Craig Knievel broke more than 50 bones during his career. And it wasn't his ability to succeed, but his history of bouncing back after awful crashes that created his legend. The further the jump got, the more cars and trucks and buses I jumped, uh, it became a life-risking profession, not just a show. We first introduced Wide World viewers to Evil in the spring of 1967. He was just 28 years old, a filler act at a motorcycle race in Gardena, California. This is Evil Knievel, and uh, his specialty in sports is to take a motorcycle up over a ramp and leap through the air some 90 feet. That's what he's going to try to do today, over 15 automobiles. Now, have you ever done 15 before, Evil? Bill, I never have. I uh, missed a jump up in the northwestern part of the United States over 13, and I was uh, hospitalized and laid up for nearly five months, and I sure hope that doesn't happen today. And makes it. Less than a year later, Evil was the headliner at Caesar's Palace. His horrifying crash shocked the public. Even more shocking was the fact that he would jump again. I was unconscious for about 29 days, and I had a broken left hip femur and, and right ankle, and uh, my hand was broke. I would say that uh, that gave me a lot of notoriety all over the country, yes, that I was able to get up after that accident and continue on with my career. It was in 1974 at the Snake River Canyon in Idaho that we watched Evil stuff himself into his part motorcycle, part steam-powered rocket. Two, one. As his power plant ignited, his parachute deployed and Evil fell short of the river. Did the failure frustrate his ambition or save his life? Undaunted, eight months later, Evil went abroad where 13 double-decker buses awaited him at London's Wembley Stadium. I wanted to jump further and further and further, and all of a sudden, the stunt work end of it left. It was gone. I knew I was risking my life. Oh, there he goes, and he will go. Down, and he is hurt. Oh, my God. I did tell the people that I would never, ever jump again because uh, there was just so much pain that I just could hardly stand it. I just couldn't stand it. I, I was about to the end of my career anyway. But only five months later, Evil would jump again. With Wide World's largest television audience watching, he cleared 14 Greyhound buses. It was his last Wide World appearance. But today, more than a quarter century later, Evil Knievel's legendary exploits have inspired the new daredevils of Generation X. The last of the gladiators, the all-time king of the daredevils, Evil Knievel! My name is Evil Knievel. I was a professional daredevil, a life risker. In that business, you have to be man enough to handle it. In my case, I was. In 2006, Evil Knievel said, no king or prince has lived a better life. You're looking at a guy who's really done it all.